வணக்கம் இட்ஸ் பீன் அ ஷேர் ஜாய் டு பி இயர் தேங்க் யூ வெரி மச் ஃபார் திஸ் ஆப்பர்ச்சுனிட்டி லெட் மீ ஸ்டார்ட் பை கங்க்ராச்சுலேட்டிங் ஸ்ரீ சத்குருஜி அண்ட் ஈஷா ஃபவுண்டேஷன் ஃபார் டூயிங் சச் அ ஃபென்டாஸ்டிக் ஜாப் அண்ட் யூ ஆல் பை பீயிங் ஹியர் இட் ஹேஸ் மேட் ஈவன் ஸ்பெஷல் ஐ நோட்டிஸ்ட் கப்பிள் ஆஃப் மேச்சஸ் ஹியர் and what i appreciate it the most was in the spirit that both the matches were played they were competitive but played in the right spirit if the referee gave a decision they accepted so which was very very good to see more than 7000 participants make this event a special one and you can see the response it's been simply incredible i've heard so much about this but to be actually present here and to witness is even better being a sportsman sports mean everything to me sports for all is something that i encourage encourage everyone in india because sport taught me lot of things in life to be disciplined to be focused to have your routine organized not always i went out and i succeeded there were number of occasions when i could not do well but sport taught me to get up on my feet again and to compete in the right spirit i really like this idea and that's why when i landed here and saw video again on this i suggested to sadguru ji ki why don't we start something like this in the village that i have adopted near nellor putam raju kandriga because it is helping the community to come closer stay tighter in difficult times and that is what sport teaches you sport teaches you teamwork and teamwork can never fail it teaches you to take care of one another to sacrifice for your colleague to back him up when he is not doing well and i saw that here as well i mean you played in partnerships there was a lot of understanding when you played volleyball and handball and that if you apply it to your day to day's life most of the problems are taken care of sport is is important sports for all is important to me because it is about changing our lifestyle i find something that i'm not really proud of is we are the diabetic capital of the world and that is all due to our lifestyle our habits we had to we have to change those habits we have to learn to lead healthy lifestyle and healthy lifestyle means going out and engaging yourself in some or the other outdoor activity some sporting activity which takes care of your health but i still remember as a youngster my grandmother always told me take care of your health because health is your true wealth so in all what i'm trying to tell you is if you all look after our health and respect what we've been blessed by the almighty our nation will get healthier and the healthier you are better results you are going to expect and consistent performance in whatever you choose to be in life be it a lawyer doctor or sportsman engineer whatever it is fitter you are more consistent results so all i want is fitter and healthier india in return you know we will we'll all be smiling for times to come i just want to share one more thing which possibly most of you wouldn't know as a child 
in my building i did play volleyball and i had a lot of fun and that continued all the way even in indian cricket team before the game started we played volleyball so it's all about playing sport and sport is something which will give you a reason to smile and i'm smiling today because i've been able to spend time with you once again thank you very much for inviting me here and to to all the to all the champions you've really done well and to the guys who have participated in this tournament you're all winners because you won my heart by participating and being here playing sport in the right spirit continue to do so and give us all a reason to smile namaskaram i know this is an unpopular thing to do trying to speak after sachin <laughs> so as all of you know sachin has become the jewel of india is our bharat ratna and a cricketer without compare the only cricketer who has overshadowed who has overshadowed don bradman <laughs> and above all more than just being a cricketer he is a sporting phenomena who has inspired a whole generation both in this country and everywhere in the world to what extent is quite immeasurable today the people of kambatur all of you are demonstrating how much he matters to all of us there are many many things you can go on saying about him because i think uh, nearly two generations of people have had the joy of watching him play there are many ways to describe him but i think it was very amusing for me to see that the president of united states barack obama said i know nothing about cricket but when sachin plays i watch and let me finish <laughs> when when sachin plays i watch but i still don't understand anything about cricket but i watch because whenever he plays my country's productivity goes down by 5% it's a it's a great privilege it's a great privilege that he has come to inspire and to endorse the spirit of rural tamil nadu to inspire sport in rural india a ball can change the world and this change is slowly happening last 15 or 16 years the gramotsava events have been happening building from strength to strength but uh, we really want to take this to the very roots of every village 70% of indian population being in rural india if they if they do not play or if they cannot play we have a nation which will become stagnant and sick over a period of time so this gramotsavam and sachin being here today recognizing the spirit of rural india 
revitalizing our villages through sporting action. We have seen, I could say, dozens of incredible stories of youth transforming themselves simply because of the simple games. How many youth have transformed themselves, situations in villages have transformed themselves, many conflicts in the villages have been overcome, many people have come overcome their addictions to alcohol and other substances. There are any number of stories that I could say. But the most important thing today is, the very jewel of India is endorsing the spirit of rural Tamil Nadu and from here on there should be no looking back for Gramutsavam. We don't want to limit it to Tamil Nadu, we want to take this across as Sachin requested in… Uh, he has only one village, I would like to see that he has at least a hundred villages and we will make sure sport will be the fundamental of these villages in the next coming years, in the next few years. This uh, village in Andhra Pradesh, what? Puttam Raju Kandriga, that's a village, he's… he's managed to learn the name <laughs> And uh, we will make sure this village and the surrounding areas there will become basis of sport and Andhra Pradesh government has already invited us to do this in that region and uh, definitely we will start in this village. The most important thing of this event, all of you, the people who love Sachin, who are screaming Sachin all the time. Okay, I got it. Yes, yes, we know. We know you love Sachin, but if you really… if you really love the sports person that he is, he is saying that all of you should at least learn to hit a ball straight. Yes, because Sachin is not PhD in sports, he just can hit a ball, not a small thing. <laughs> just hitting a ball seems like a child's play, you get into it, it will take all that you have and more to hit a ball where you want it to go. So, the youth who are jumping Sachin, Sachin, I want all of you to take to some sport. You must be able to hit a ball, a catch a ball, a throw a ball properly. All of you, tell them today they must take a vote, they must take to some sport. Sachin is saying, that all of you, all the young people, if you are not dead, you are young, all of you. <laughs> if you are still alive, that means you are young enough to live. Everybody should take to some simple sport, hit a ball, throw a ball, catch a ball, do something. Every one of you must do this, not just shouting Sachin, if you want to honor him, you have to take to some simple sport, it need not necessarily be professional or competitive, but every one of you should take to some sport at least in your neighborhood. Tell me yes now. Yes. That's good. Because a game, a game is like this. If you want to play a game, you can… you can go to your job half-hearted, you can go to your school and college half-hearted, you can even get married half-hearted, but you can't play a game half-hearted, you have to be all out hundred percent or nothing. This is what it takes to make life happen, that you're hundred percent on everything that you do. And the beauty of the game is, you want to win. You want to win like your life depends on it, but if you lose, it's okay with you. If you just get these two things, everything that you do in your life, you're one hundred percent, not ninety-nine, one hundred percent, and you want to win. But if you lose, it's okay with you. If you just get this much, 
you got the fundamentals of a good life. So everyone should take to some simple sport, every one of you. Don't think somebody is too old, if you're alive, you're too young, otherwise you wouldn't be here. If you're too old, you have no business to be here. If you're here, that means you're young enough to live, young enough to play. Just bring this into your life, your lives will change. If you can't play in some other field, in your own home, a simple game, throw a tennis ball at each other, I'm telling you, your relationships will change at home, especially if you have children. Don't try to make them read a stupid book, play with them. That's what is needed. If you can play with your family, many things will be ironed out. You can even play with your mother-in-law, why not? A whole lot of things will be sorted out if you just learn to play because that is the nature of a play. It makes everything light and beautiful. This is what we need to do our to our lives and a game is a way of practicing that aspect of life that we know we want to win, nobody wants to lose, but if we lose, it's all right because we understand we can't determine the nature of the result before we play the game. This is something that people are struggling with every day. Everything that you do, you want to fix the result before you play the game, that's called match fixing. That's not a game. If you want to play a game, you don't know the result, that's why it's beautiful. It can go anywhere, but the thing is you're still hundred percent. So I want all of you to make use of this iconic presence of Sachin Tendulkar here in Coimbatore to bring… to bring game, to bring sport, to bring playfulness into your family, into your street, into your neighborhood, into your villages and into your towns and make India a playful nation because this is good… this is important for our physical health, our mental health, for our presence in the international committee, in the committee of nations, above all for your own physical, mental and spiritual well-being, you need to learn to play. I hope this day will be an inspiration for everybody to take up to your game and just see Sachin didn't do anything except hitting a ball from the age of fourteen or fifteen. See what's happened to your man. So learn to hit a ball, it'll do things to you. You may not become a Sachin Tendulkar, but the joy of doing something with some precision is… it cannot be matched by anything. Money, wealth, food, these things won't do that. Just learn to do something in a precise way, the way you want it. If you just throw a ball to exactly the place that you want it to go, the joy of that is something that everybody must experience. Playfulness is not for children alone, it's the adults, the grown-ups who must play. Children are anyway playful, it is you who have to learn to play both on the field, in your office, in your home, above all in the world in which we live. Thank you very much for being here. Here, I am going to… Ha, ha, ha.